Good morning, stock watchers. Wake up and grab that coffee. It's time for your daily stock report brought to you today by QualityStocks.net, where performance is tracked daily. I'm Kathy Rankin, and yes, it is Monday, June 18th, and we're bringing you the latest news from around the markets as well as the top movers to look out for today. So jumping right into our top movers and shakers on the Quality Stocks watch list, today's report is brought to you by Petrosun Incorporated. Petrosun Drilling is a development stage company offering a range of oil field well services in the United States. It provides drilling contractor services, workover services, tubulars, and related supplies and equipment as well as digital tool monitoring and surveillance equipment and services in the oil exploration, development, and production industry. Dynamic Leisure Corporation shares were boosted on news that Dynamic Leisure will offer a new program labeled Dynamic Vacation Pay Plan, this is interesting, which gives customers financial flexibility in making deposits and interest-free payments on their vacation package when booked 61 days or more in advance of their departure. The company also recently announced that it was awarded an exclusive travel provider contract for Veterans Helping Veterans Incorporated. DLC will offer a variety of travel programs to over 7 million veterans within V2V's database and potentially 26 million American veterans worldwide. Earth Biofuels Incorporated operating results and expectations affirmed the company's 2007 plan for sustainable growth. The company plan is focused on an achievable path to profitability for the company and its U.S. focused biofuels and alternative fuels businesses. A lot of attention turned toward Earth Biofuels as upwards of 5 million shares were traded last week. Earth Biofuels produces and distributes biodiesel fuel through wholesale and retail outlets. The fuel is sold under Willie Nelson's brand name, Bio Willie. <laughs> Earth Biofuels also produces and markets liquefied natural gas. Russell Industries Incorporated shares surged on the announcement that it has acquired an additional 50 uranium mine claims, which are in close proximity to the company's other rage claims in San Juan County, Utah. The acquisition raises Russell Industries' current total of San Juan County uranium claims to 254, covering an area of 5,080 acres. The company plans to begin mining operations in May on estimated reserves of up to 1,000 tons of uranium. The company has positioned itself to continue its strategic plan for 2007 by acquiring an additional 50 uranium mining claims, quantifying and valuing its present claims, and make application to mine part of its claims. Cavett Sciences Incorporated released information regarding the company's drug and development, the Mariama vaccine, which has been used for over 25 years as a cancer treatment with proven results. The testing conducted in the U.S. and overseas included testing in vitro, on animals and on humans, and has shown a number of promising results. The in vitro tests show signs that the drug inhibits HIV-1 virus replication, as well as human tests which showed survival of humans was significantly improved in patients with advanced cervical cancer, showing a 30% reduction in the death rate. That's something. And that's our newsmakers for day today. Stay tuned right here to the Quality Stocks Daily for the latest commentary on small cap to large cap and everything in between brought to you by QualityStocks.net. Also, make sure to watch for the Quality Stocks Daily Newsletter, which is available each and every trading day through QualityStocks.net. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Kathy Rankin. Have a great start to your week, and we'll see you again tomorrow on The Daily Report. This transmission is coming to you. You've got it.